I'm Bobby, this is Tyrannus Customs, and welcome back to another Tyrannus Tip. Today, we're going to be talking about Ackerman Steering. Ackerman Steering is a steering geometry that allows you to take corners easier by turning your inside wheel slightly more than your outside wheel to avoid tire scrubbing. To explain it even better, I've got a little diagram here behind me, so we'll just zoom in on that. And here we go. So without Ackerman steering, when you go to turn the wheel, both tires are gonna turn the exact same amount. So as you can see, our left tire turns in and our right tire turns in the exact same amount. And so when that happens, as we go to make this corner, because this outside wheel is gonna to have to travel a longer distance than the inside wheel, having them at the exact same angle is gonna force one of those two tires to scrub as we make our turn. So what you want is you actually want your inside tire, if inside being inside the turn, you want your inside tire to turn a little bit more than your outside tire. So if we look down here, with Ackerman steering, we can see that as we make that turn, our outside tire turns just that same amount, but our inside tire is actually turning more. And what that allows is now the outside arc that this tire is gonna have to make is gonna be much larger than the inside arc that this inner tire is gonna have to make, and that's gonna keep us from scrubbing. So that's all fine and dandy, and there's plenty more in-depth videos on Ackerman steering out there if you really wanna dive deep. But you're probably asking yourself, okay, so that's how it works. How do I make it work on my go-kart? And it's actually really simple. So here I have a fairly crude drawing of our go-kart here, right? And so you can see I've got my rear tires down the bottom. Here's my rear axle. And here's our front tires mounted out on our A-arms. And then right here, this green piece is where we have our steering rack mounted. So in our case, we're gonna mount our steering rack behind the center line of our tires. So right here, you can see these are our hubs and these little dots are going to be our kingpins. So this right here and right here, those are where our wheels actually pivot. And so what you wanna do is when you're designing the connections for your tie rods that are gonna run from your wheel hubs to your steering rack, the way to align them properly for ideal Ackerman steering is you're gonna to wanna to basically draw an imaginary line from your kingpin here to the very center of your rear axle. So here's the center of my rear axle. And if I draw a straight line from here to here, matter of fact, let me get a straight edge. Straight line from our kingpin to the center of our axle. I'll do the same thing on the opposite side. Just like that. This angle is going to be the angle that we want our tie rod attachment points to be on. Draw that line from the kingpin down to the center, kingpin down to the center. And now when we go to make our tabs for our tie rod attachment points off of our hubs, I'm just gonna make sure that the connection point for my tie rods land somewhere on this line. The important thing to take away from this drawing is the fact that the measurement of it is just kingpin to center axle, kingpin to center axle. Now, one thing I will mention is this uh, works if you keep your steering rack behind the center line of your tires. But if you have your steering rack mounted in front of the center line of your tires, it's gonna be a little bit different. So here you can see what I mean even a little bit better. Right, so we've got our steering rack mounted back here, and I've drawn in my imaginary connection from the kingpin down to where our rear axle would be, and you can see along that same line is where I've positioned the attachment point for my tie rods. This is tie rods rear of the kingpin, just like you'll see in our carts um, and a lot of other go-karts. The other way to do it is if you have your steering rack, like I said, forward of your kingpins, forward of the center of your front tires, 
What you're going to want to do is take that measurement to however far away your rear axle is. We're going to just flip that to be the inverse. So you can see it's the exact same thing here. Let's say that my rear axle was five feet away from the kingpin here. Well, I would just measure five feet in the opposite direction. And you can see that now instead your tie rod connections uh, can't inwards and forwards. So not too crazy, and it becomes even easier when it comes time to figuring it out on your actual go-kart. So the way that I like to do it is, ideally I wouldn't have the seat in and the engine and all that in my way, but all I like to do is grab a piece of string, tie it to either the rear axle if I can reach it, or somewhere in line with the rear axle. You'll see for me, I'm going to tie our string on right here to the back of the cage. There's a spot that falls right above our rear axle, and that's gonna be our center point. And then I'm just gonna stretch my string out until it meets the kingpin, and you'll see that on our cart right here, our tie rod attachments are right in line with that, and we have really nice Ackerman steering. Let me, let me just show you guys how I do it. Well, that took a little bit of finesse to get around all the gas tank and everything, but I finally got it lined up. And like I said, if you're doing this in sort of the beginning of a build, when you've just got your frame, you're trying to figure out steering and all that, it's going to be a lot easier to just run a string back to your rear axle. Um, but I got it set up. I got the GoPro. So let's give you a little closer look. So here's what we got. As you can see down here is where my axle runs across, the rear axle. So if we follow this all the way up, it's right in line with this bar. So this is what I'm gonna be using to connect my string to on the back side here to sort of represent the location of my rear axle. And so I tied that up right in the center of where my rear axle would be. And I let that string run all the way down. And you can see right here is my kingpin that my wheels rotate about. And just below it, you can see where my tie rod attaches. Right? And if you notice, that's right in line with that string, just like how we were talking about for optimal Ackerman steering. What you'll notice is the tabs that I use to connect my tie rod to the knuckle don't actually have to line up on that line. So long as the place that I'm actually bolting my tie rod to right here does line up. This is fairly arbitrary. Where this connects, you can kind of do that however makes sense for your build. But the important thing is that this line that runs all the way back to the center of your rear axle to your kingpin here, you want your tie rod connection point to fall on that line. And that's what we've got here. So again, just to kind of zoom back out, you can see my string is tied all the way up to back there, out to the front. And it makes a really simple, no calculation required way of figuring out how to get your Ackerman steering right. And so now you can see, as I turn my wheels, my inside wheel here is actually turning at a sharper angle than the outside. And the same thing happens when we go the other direction. And that's what we're looking for in proper Ackerman steering. That's all I got for this one. If you found this video helpful, you already know what to do. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. We release episodes of Tyrannus Customs every Tuesday. That is our build vlog series. In addition to these Tyrannus tips that we kind of sprinkle in wherever we can in between. If you've got any more questions about go-karts, small engines, mini bikes, you name it, drop those down in the comments and maybe we'll turn it into a video. Who knows? Anyways, we'll catch you guys in the next one.